a vertical tube closed at one end is immersed in water. A column of air is trapped inside the tube. Okay, the density of water is given to us 100. What is the difference between the pressure? Pressure is delta P. Guess we're looking at the difference of the air in the tube and the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure, you can't really see it. Where would you draw it? I would typically um, represent it this way. So if you look at the water surface up there, that is probably where the air pressure is acting on all objects. You know, air pressure is like pressing down on the water. So at that level, this is called uh, atmospheric pressure. So P ATM, right at water level. Whole atmosphere pressed down. But we are trying to find pressure of the air inside the tube. How are we going to find that? The first hint is to know how water pressure works. So why is the air bubble confined to only this space? That is because of water pressure at this lowermost level. See the dotted space? So water is kind of pressing everywhere at that level, on the, on the air, on the wall of the glass, everywhere, and all along that area, all those mini, mini arrows that you see me draw. Let me see you can draw that there. Yeah, this works. All the mini, mini arrows represent the mini forces that press on the air column or against the container, and that's your pressure. Okay, also, got, got got forces pointed to the right. So how do we find the pressure at this level that I just draw, the dotted line? Pressure due to a column of water on top of this line. The column of water will have two parts, here and here. Due to this entire column above, pressing down, you have this pressure. So the pressure inside the air, you can say, hmm, if I want to find the change in pressure from surface up there, all the way down to this level, this change in pressure is due to a water column that can be calculated with rho g times delta h. So what is the delta h? To find that, we need to take the density, 1000, uh, g, 9.81, and the delta h, which actually is including two parts, this delta h, 20 cm and 30 cm. So that is the total of 50 cm. So we can write here 50 times 10, negative 2, and that will be in meters. What do we get if we press a calculator here? We get 4905, 4905. This is in Pascal, and it's a difference from atmosphere to air. Okay, So we are not including atmospheric pressure inside here because we're just looking for a difference in pressure. So the best choice here, if you want to find a difference, would be to choose 4905 over here. Okay, so that's how you can find pressure. Remember, pressure is distributed at the same level of water. And if you go deeper, it's higher pressure. If you go higher, it's higher pressure. Uh, lower pressure because not so much water pressed down on you at that position. So that's all for this video about pressure. I will see you in the next one.